So now I'm going to discuss the question 11. Solve the equation a plus i over 1 minus i plus bi over 2 plus i, which is equal to 2 minus 5i. The question asks us to find the value of a and b. So now what I'm trying to say is to multiply their conjugate for both expression. So here will be the example. a plus i over 1 minus i, I'm going to multiply their conjugate. So 1 plus i over 1 plus i. Plus, for the second expression, bi over 2 plus i, their conjugate will be 2 minus i, which is equals to 2 minus 5i. So let's focus on the left hand side and I'm going to expand. So we will have a plus ai plus i minus 1. As we all know, i squared will be equal to negative 1. So over 1 minus i multiply with 1 plus i. As we can see, we are multiply both of them are conjugate to each other. So in this part, I'm going to apply the formula, which is a squared plus b squared. And I will have 1 plus 1. For the second part, we will have 2bi minus, it will become plus b. As we all know, i squared actually equals to negative 1. That's why we have b over, again, I'm going to apply the formula, which is a squared plus b squared. Because, refer to the denominator, these two expressions actually are conjugate to each other. That's why I can apply the formula a squared plus b squared. So in this case, a squared will be equal to 4 plus b squared, which is equal to 1. And it is equal to 2 minus 5i. So now we can simplify the situation. So we will have a minus 1 plus a plus 1 bracket i over 2. Plus we have b plus 2bi over 5 equals to 2 minus 5i. Next, my suggestion would be I'm going to multiply all the expression with 10. So we will have 5. Why we have 5? Do try to imagine when you multiply this expression with 10, you can simplify and you will have 5. Multiply a minus 1 plus 5 a plus 1 i. Again, I'm going to multiply this expression with 10. So we will have 2b plus 4bi equals to 2 minus 5i multiply with 10. So now we can expand and rearrange based on the parts. So we will have 5a minus 5. Focus on this part because it is a real part. So plus 2b. Next, we will have plus 5a plus 5 bracket i plus 4bi, which is equals to 20 minus 50i. So next, I'm going to compare for both sides, for the real part and the imaginary part. And we will have 5a minus 5 plus 2b equals to 20 and I name it as equation 1. For the second part, we have 5a plus 5 plus 4b which is equals to negative 50 which is the equation 2. So now rearrange and simplify the situation. 5a plus 2b equals to 25. 
and I still name it as equation 1. For the second part, we have 5a plus 4b, which is equal to negative 55, and I still name it as equation 2. So for this case, I'm going to use the elimination method, and my suggestion would be use the equation 1 minus with the equation 2. So 5a minus 5a, and we will have 0. 2b minus 4b, we will have negative 2b equals to 25 minus minus 55 and we will have 80. So by simplifying the situation, finally we have negative 40. So now I'm going to substitute b equals to negative 40 into the first equation. So we will have 5a minus 80 equals to 25. So 5a will be equals to 105. So a will be equals to 21. So finally, a is equals to 21 and b is equals to negative 40 and we will have our final answer here we are and thanks for watching